the first beasts. The Leviathans. Leviathans? I personally found them entertaining, but he was concerned they'd chomp the entire Petri dish, so he locked them away. Why do you think he created purgatory? To keep those clever, poisonous things out. Now Castiel has swallowed them. He's the one thin membrane between the old ones and your home. Enough, stupid little soldier you are. Yeah, telling it like it is. That was, of course, a clip from the season seven premiere of Supernatural featuring Death himself, a.k.a. Julian Richings. He's one of the most versatile and unique stage and screen performers in Canada, and today he joins us in studio. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Is it okay if I don't let you touch me because I don't want to die? Just be careful I don't do this. All right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Death is one of the most interesting characters, I think, on Supernatural and possibly on television today. What was it like for you to play that character or get behind that role? Fantastic. You're playing the most powerful man, basically walking the streets of Chicago. So uh, yeah. you just go with that and have fun. Do you get strange looks? Like, just now that you've done this role, like when you get on a plane or something uh, like that, yeah. are people kind of like a little bit like... Mm? Double takes yeah. all the time. Uh, should I shake hands? No, I won't shake hands <laughs> right. with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Is it, is it a media role? Not the first time you've played Death, of course. And is, is it interesting to play a character like that that probably has a, a few issues going on? It, yeah. Well, the thing is, you don't have to play those issues. You just play against it. So... You play the food, you play the humor, you play the yeah. affectionate telling off of Jensen, you know, that, that whole rapport. Yeah. So it, it gives you license to have fun, basically. But well, when we last saw Deb, which was season, uh, or episode one of this season, yeah. you know, the guys were pretty mad at you because uh, they had found you, you know, and you were pretty upset with them. Are yeah. we going to see Deb come back again? I think we might well. I can't say too much about it, but uh, I think so. I That's think, coming back. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is obviously you, you've done a, a, quite a number of uh, roles in Canadian film and television. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about your role as the hooded leader in Todd in the Book of Pure Evil. Well, it's <laughs> on space, obviously, and probably people won't recognize me because, uh, it, you know, you have to see sort of my hooded face here because I play the hooded leader of a a satanic cult. Yes. Um, so I, I was in season one, and my disembodied head is uh, features in season two. Uh, it's great independent series yeah. that has just uh, caught fire, and, and suddenly everybody's digging it and watching it. We love it. I got to visit the set a few times, but I remember yeah. when we first picked up the show, I heard you were in it, which I thought was cool, and then I had to go and check the credits, because I was like, where's Julian Richard? It's true. You yeah. had that hood, and you really lost your head at the end of season I one. I certainly <laughs> did. But like good that. mouth acting. <laughs> What's yeah. it like opposite, uh, acting opposite Chris Levins? Because obviously in season one, that was who you had most of your scenes with. Was, yeah. was he a cool guy to act opposite? Because, I mean, you've worked with Samuel L. Jackson, Ben yeah. Kingsley, Kevin yeah. Costner. How does Chris Levins measure up? And our best, the best of Canada, <laughs> too. And he was hilarious. And uh, able to improvise and come up with stuff that just floored us. So, uh, yeah, great. Well, we On have, his game. We definitely yeah. have big fans of yours who watch our show, so we have some questions that are coming from them. Yeah. Okay. Here's what they had to say. From Facebook, Leslie Bishop asks, what do you think of the Leviathan storyline for Season 7 on Supernatural? Oh. It's well, an interesting one. It, it is, and it sure in introduces a new element of uh, danger for the boys. And, and it, it takes it to a whole new level, and, and uh, I, I think some of the stuff that they've been relying on before is no longer there. So, uh, right. so it creates a sense of unease. Could Death kill the Leviathans? Because they're pretty badass. And I mean, uh, Death has said before in Supernatural that he will ultimately reap God, so could he also reap the Leviathans? Eh, I don't know. One on one, I don't know, but he is a force for balance and order right. in the universe, so uh, he will somehow conspire to make sure that things yeah, I've kept level. Death is pretty badass. Uh, Veronica Miller said, do you think Death is going to help Sam and Dean get rid of the Leviathans and bring Cass back? We touched on the Leviathans a bit, but if we see Death again, could his and, and Castiel's story arc converge mm. again? Uh, possibly. Um, the, there's a bit of antipathy between the two there, and the right. fact that, that Castiel is more pretentious and uh, a little bit trumped up. I think uh, <laughs> maybe they'll meet again, and Death will tell him what he thinks of him. Yeah, cool. Uh, Christopher jo D Dorda wants to know what type of acting training does Julian Richens have? He's really good, he says. And he, well, indeed, you. very. You have some formalized training. Oh uh, yeah, um, uh, I'm originally from Britain. I went to um, instead of going to the drama school, traditional drama school, I went to a university that was steeped more in a European culture of uh, theatre, Grotowski, Arto, uh, more of a physical form of acting. 
And, um, mime? Any miming? Uh, a little bit of mime, just enough to get me by on a street corner. <laughs> <Okay>. Right. <laughs> no, and, and then I, we toured Europe and did a lot of very imagistic shows, and, and that's actually eventually why I ended up in Toronto on tour with a, an international production. And you actually teach now in Toronto? I do, from time to time, uh, particularly at one high school at Wexford. Uh, I teach there, uh, School for the Performing Arts, and uh, I'll coach drama students. Lucky students, Lucky for sure. Students. And Vanessa said, please let Richard, Mr. Richings know that he's one of my favorite characters on Supernatural. Thanks for bringing so much to the show. I think that echoes the sentiment of a lot of fans. Now, before we go, I want to ask you about a few projects, because you were, of course, in Man of Steel. Have, have you shot yet? Yes, uh, I've just been to Vancouver, and uh, over a span of about a week, and shot a couple of scenes. Um, I can't talk too much about them, but they were a lot of fun, and they were with Russell Crowe and Michael Shannon, wow. and... Uh, um, in, in a, a setting probably the size of a hockey arena with an awful lot of green screen around. So I can't even tell you what it will finally look like, but I think it's going to be impressive. But Zack Snyder directing, and you're on Krypton, right? I certainly am. You're on Krypton. And no. I have to ask you, are you aware of the online campaign to make you the next Doctor on Doctor Who? I've become aware of it, <laughs> yeah, and it's gaining steam. Uh, and I don't know where it's coming from, but uh, hey, it was my favorite show as a kid, so, so you'd be I'm up flattered. For it? Oh, well, I'm pretty flattered. <laughs> Get on that YouTube campaign, people. And also, just quickly, we're going to see you in Bag of Bones, right? The Stephen King movie? Yes, Stephen King, King movie that shot in Halifax with Pierce Brosnan. Um, I, I went and did a couple of days on that, too. Cool. You're the king of genre, sir. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> king of genre. All right, we'll keep the comments and feedback coming. You know how to contact us. There it is. We got it all for you, so uh, keep it coming. Thanks for being here. Thank man. you so My much. Pleasure. I am going to shake your hand. I shake your hand, too, of death. <laughs> Thank you. And of Bucky Hate. You got the hardcore logo <laughs> shirt there. I like that. Uh, don't forget to watch Supernatural's Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern right here on Space. Hope you enjoyed tonight's episode, too. And stay tuned to Inner Space, because when we come back, we'll tell you what to expect tomorrow. Thanks again, man. Still to come.